So this is um, enlarging artwork using the grid technique. It's a way to flatten and simplify an object and enlarge a drawing proportionally. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this small picture and we're going to blow it up to be a large picture. And we're going to do it not just by eyeballing it, but by doing it in a certain way. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put a line with a yellow marker through the letters and the numbers. So what's going to happen is you're going to um, find this grid and there's a corresponding. So 1A here will be the same as 1A there. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at 1A. There's nothing in it, so there'll be nothing here. The second one we're going to look at is B. I'm even going to draw a little box around B, and I'm going to draw a box around 1B over here. You want to make special, take special care to see where the out side contour of your drawing is and where it hits on the box. So right about here is the middle of the box and it's about halfway in between. I'm going to draw very lightly and I'm going to make a dot here and then I'm going to make a dot kind of up near the top. Then I'm going to do a nice curve then connect the two dots. There's another thicker line here. Now there's these little a, an H that's thick and a little piece of an A. But we're not going to think of it as a piece of an A. We're going to think of it as just a shape that we see. So that's how you start. You can start anywhere you want. So let's try some easy areas. Let's try this area, 5F. So 5F just has this little bit bitty part on it. So 5F, and we will match the little bitty part. And that's all there is to it. So you'll go from each one, you might have to darken these lines just a little bit. Let's see, let's try 6A. It just, if I divided this in half two ways, the triangle would come right up from the corner and over. Okay, let's go ahead and try something a little more challenging before I stop this video. Let's try the middle. So we don't want to draw the whole dog nose at once. We really want to try to keep um, each square separate. So you can see I subdivided the square into quadrants, so that's going to give me the middle of my square. Now the little tongue is at the corner, and at this corner is the curve of the um, circle around the logo. So we're going 4D, so about halfway down is the little nose. And I think it's actually a little bit smaller. And there's my mouth. And then the bottom part of the mouth goes there. And here's the tongue. And I'm not going to shade, I can shade it in lightly, but don't shade it in too much or make it too dark because you may have to make adjustments. Now let's go to the other quadrant right here. It looks like there's a, a little uh, marking. And 
and up here there's a little marking here. And that's about it on this square, okay? So then we're going to continue going until we have the whole thing done.